hi hi hello friends welcome to another vlog slash studio vlog these days i find that i've fallen into a comfortable routine i wake up film some footage plug in my cute little neon sign start work and make a nice cup of tea However, I am switching things up a little bit here and will be packing a few orders and dropping them off at the post office during what would usually be my lunch break. As some of you may know, I recently restocked my froggy tote bags and Kirby charms, so I'm super excited to have these delivered to those who have ordered them. Uh, I tend to pile everything I need to pack on my desk and then sort them out into individual piles. And the actual packing process is pretty simple and hasn't changed much. Every order gets a business card with a discount code on the back and I like to throw in some free stickers or even a sticker sheet sometimes. A lot of people like to buy only one sticker I have noticed, but shipping tends to double the cost. So to make up for that, I like to throw in some freebies every now and then. As you can see, I wrap my orders in a peach colored tissue paper that has not changed. But if the contents are say, just like a charm, a business card and a small sticker, then I tend to just throw them into the bubble mailer just to like save resources. And I also like to write a little thank you um, message and doodle on the tissue paper when I do use it with a white pen and then I'm done. I like to use a label printer to print my shipping labels. It's super convenient, super easy. I just have to plug it into my computer or my laptop through the USB cable, which is the sound you are hearing in the background right now. So here I'm just giving some feedback on Slack about something another fellow designer shared. We all give each other feedback throughout the day, which is really nice. Also, I know my keyboard is loud, but I genuinely love it. So. But I am already thinking about my next keyboard and I think I want to try yellow switches next, so I just think it'll be nice to have one with linear switches on hand. Okay, I just dropped off the packages at the post office and I feel like I haven't been here in ages. Also, there's like a lot of cars out right now, which is I'm not used to. And my ears really hurt. As you can see, they're really like red and not happy right now. I haven't worn earrings in a long time. And because of that, I think my piercings are starting to close up a little bit, which is strange because I've had these since I was like four and they've never really started to close up until recently. So I feel like I have to get back in the habit of wearing earrings every day just so they don't, yeah, close up again. Cause now they're very unhappy. I kind of had to shove them through. Sorry for the slightly uncomfortable image, but yeah also i'm like strangely dressed up today for the post office and that's because i have to do my laundry so i actually have to dress nice because that's kind of all i have now 
But this outfit's really cute. I've been meaning to wear this for a while. So I'm glad I finally found a reason to get out and wear it. And I get to wear my paperclip earrings. All of my earrings and all of my jewelry are gold to match my glasses. So, <laughs> okay, I have to go back and get back to work now because I took a break from work to go here and then I have to finish up uh, one quick assignment and then I'm going to take a quick little snacky lunch break of sorts and then I will get back to work again. Okay. I ordered 20 last time. Should I order 30 this time? Today will be more illustration heavy. What I really love about my current full-time gig is that I get to do both graphic design and illustration. I'm finishing up an assignment I started the day before here. I have it all laid out. I just need to add some doodles per my design manager's wonderful suggestion. And during lunch, I am going to be swinging by a local print shop to pick up my froggy notepads. I'm running low, so I had to restock. So that's what I did. And they tend to have a really fast turnaround for notepads. It's literally within 24 hours. It's kind of crazy. Now this was definitely a highlight of the week. On Mother's Day, T-Mobile had a trade-in deal. So I traded in my old phone, which was an iPhone 10 for an iPhone 12, the purple one, of course. I also pay a little more upfront for more storage, but they're offering me the same amount the phone costs, but in credits, cause you know, they love their credits. So all of that will be credited onto my phone bill uh, recurring in the future which is a pretty good deal to me. And when I saw the purple color, I knew I wanted it right away. So, and I've been thinking about upgrading my phone for a while. So it kind of all lined up the way I wanted it to. My parents' current phones aren't in the best condition to trade in. So a few days later, I actually just ordered them both some new phones myself with my own money and they are getting delivered next week. I decided to start playing Hyperlight Drifter. It's my sister's like favorite game of all time and I've played it a bit but never got around to finishing it so I thought it'd be fun to start over since it's been so long. After restocking items, I always do a little quality check on everything. The notepad's printed beautifully, but sometimes there are some small issues when they cut the pads down to size. It's not that they're damaged or anything, it's just little things like excess glue hardened on top, or like little fuzzy tears of the papers that are visible up top that didn't get cut off cleanly enough. To unwind after a long day, I decided to play the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV Online. <laughs> 
I ran Thorn March on hard difficulty for the first time because you know MSQs and my party was like half sprouts like me and the other half were more experienced but somehow we all forgot the order we were supposed to kill the Moogles in and we uh kind of wiped on the first try so that's a little embarrassing but it was a good moment it was a good experience what <laughs> oh my god oh my god what's happening <laughs> Today I am working on an illustration heavy assignment. These are definitely my favorites to do as they pick my brain in a way that typical design work doesn't. The style is simple and lineless, but it's fun to do. I love being able to take certain things and concepts and represent them in visual, more tangible ways, like a stack of pages representing batches of content or a lightning bolt to represent confidence. In putting everything together after illustrating the individual components and finishing the hand lettering is always a very satisfying experience. Watching everything come together into a cohesive piece is definitely the best part. And my manager had no edits to suggest this time, so uh, big win for me. So I had to renew my lease, so I was figuring out what I needed for when I uh, renew my renter's insurance this coming month. But no one cares about that, so let's talk about mini prints. I have been wanting to create a postcard sized mini print to give out as freebies in every order for like the longest time. I've been sitting on this illustration for a while. It was originally just a food study, but I have been wanting to turn it into something more. So I thought this was a great opportunity to do just that. I have to submit the files to my usual print shop that I go to for prints, and hopefully I'll have these available soon. Perhaps in my next vlog, you will be able to see them. One thing I need y'all to know is that it took me five hours to assemble the cabinet that came before this one, so I was quite stressed out when I finally decided to put this one together. I am awful at assembling furniture and I have come to the conclusion that IKEA in general just really stresses me out. I went for the first time this year, like last month to be specific, I went in 23 years old, young, naive, and I left feeling 10 years older due to the sensory overload I experienced while I was in there. However, I made it out alive and now here we are assembling this final cabinet. After weeks, I have finally finished assembling these two cabinets. Um, it was quite the journey, and if you look very carefully, you can see that I, the first time I built it, I put that panel in backwards, which I didn't do a second time, but because I didn't do it a second time, that means now that one has a sticker and hole sticking out, and that one doesn't, so that's kind of annoying, but look at it, I'm done! finished our run to Best Buy and we got Waldi. I did not come here to get Waldi at all, but this is just what happened. I love Waldi so much. Ah. <laughs> I know what I must do. Ta-da!
So I was originally planning on filming this next week, but the package arrived three days early. So, surprise, I bought this super cute Kirby themed case for my Switch and also these really cute keycap thumb grips. I love Kirby, so I've been kind of going through it lately, just giving into my inner child. The case is super cute, snaps on quite easily, and the thumb grips, a pain to apply, like a huge pain. It's so hard but super cute and they actually feel really nice i wasn't sure because they're in a square shape rather than the typical circle shape but i actually really like it unfortunately you can only keep the case on the joy cons if you keep your switch undocked so if you play it portably then it's fine but uh we took them off shortly after filming this because we like to play our switch docked we have a really comfy couch so you know it just it just be like that in this household in this apartment so Anyway, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I will be closing out the vlog here, so take care, rest up, drink lots of water, and have a lovely day. See you next time. Bye!